Hi guys, um, hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on two designer shoes and um, on how to authenticate um, a pair of Gucci sneakers and a pair of Chanel espadrilles. Um, I know for myself, um, whenever I'm looking to purchase a secondhand designer item, I like to um, make sure I know exactly how to authenticate it which is why I came up with these two tips. Um, Cause the last thing you want to do is purchase an item and then realize that what you bought was a fake. Um, and uh, Gucci sneakers and the Chanel Espadrille are two things that were, are very highly knocked off. And um, yeah, so I just thought like, you know, I'll share my two tips with you guys. So um, the first thing I will do is a Gucci sneaker. Um, I both of these sneakers I have purchased from a, a reputable designer retailer. Um, so and I bought them from the actual store, so they are 100% authentic. So um, these ones are my Gucci Snake sneaker. Um, so besides the packaging, you know, whenever like. The packaging should always be good and if somebody has bought it and you're buying it off of somebody who bought theirs from like Saks or um, Bergdorf's or um, any of the big name designer stores, Harrods, um, Barney's, like you know, Holt Renfrew, um, they should, and if they kept their boxes, it'll, whatever's on the outside should also be what's on the inside. So I'm not going to go into all of that stuff because these are really um, for the Gucci sneaker, this is the one thing that you should just always look for that will guarantee that your shoe is authentic. And a lot of times when people post, um, uh, like their shoes for sale, they will always take pictures of the outside and show you, um, I mean, sometimes they'll show you the bottoms, but they usually just show you pictures of the outside of the shoes. So the first the you, the one thing that you are always always looking for when you purchase a pair of Gucci sneakers is you want to rip out the inside so you want to pull out the sole now the older 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 shoes they won't be able to do that but all the new Gucci sneakers should um and then you should see that it has the Gucci's on it Gucci on there and then you will see that inside it also has Gucci. So that is your surefire way of guaranteeing that your sneakers are authentic. I did have an incident where somebody posted um, a pair of uh, Gucci sneakers for sale and um, the guy was saying that he was selling his girlfriend's sneakers. She bought them from Italy. Um, when I saw the, the shoes posted, um, I went online to look for them. I found them on, I think, Essence or Farfetch. The, everything was the same on the outside. So I met with him. And then when I met with him, and he was selling them at such a good price, he was selling them for 200, which is also kind of a giveaway when they're selling them cheap, but sometimes you score a deal. So you don't want to pass up on a good deal. So when I met with him, I um, asked to see the sneaker and I looked at the sneaker and then when I, pulled out the sole of the shoe inside it was just really crappy and I told him that they were fake and he knew they were fake and he then you know he had nothing else he could say so that's always what you're looking for I will show you on my other Gucci sneakers as well just so you have a point of reference um so that's these ones and then my other Gucci sneaker um again it's authentic yeah let me show you like this these are authentic they're purchased from Holt Renfrew um again you know I take good care of my shoes if I'm not wearing them I always package them back up um again you know it's inside is like that so you just want to pull out the inside sole of the shoe. Like you just pull out this sole. Again, it's got the Gucci, Gucci, and it's got Gucci inside. 
I mean, this one isn't that well. I don't know why it's um, done. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what it looks like inside because the shoe is not, um, you're never gonna wear it like that anyway, but it's just another, it's just a way to authenticate. So that's always what you're looking for. To, it's a surefire way to ensure that your shoes are authentic um, and that you don't get ripped off because nobody wants to be ripped off. And it's so unfair when people try to sell you fake stuff and pass it off as real. And they're usually charging quite a bit anyway, so, you know. But that's just your far away. Like, there's, you don't have to guess if it's real or if it's fake or just always pull out the shoe, look inside. So those are my Gucci sneakers. Let's put these here. And now we will do our Chanel's. So I bought these, I got these as, um, a winning prize off of Poshmark. Um, so when I was looking for a pair before, um, I did my research, I figured out how to authenticate them. So besides like for here, like, you know, I, the packaging is really well done, but sometimes with fakes, you know, it's not always your way of knowing if they're real or fake, but anyway, we're not even talking about that, but so just look for two things when you get your shoes, or when you are meeting somebody or when they're at, when you're asking for photos, ask for two things to make sure that you can ensure that they are, are authentic. So these are my sh <coughs> Chanel's. <coughs> so I'll just pull them out here. them out here so these are our chanel um espadrilles that right there and i'll take a look at them here chanel espadrilles so what you are looking for when you are authenticating these is one you want to make sure that the bottom of the shoe is translucent it should be see-through um now some shoes, they're more see-through than other shoes. From my experience, these ones are not, they're not all translucent, but you can see that, you know, there's some rope you can see right there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, they just have a little bit, like this one's just a little bit, but you can see that you can see through and there's some rope and you can see the rope a little bit more there. I, when I was looking at some other shoes, they were a little bit more see-through, um, but pretty much they should be see-through. It doesn't matter how much see-through they are, just always make sure are the bottoms of the shoes see-through. So that's your one guarantee to know that they're real. The other thing is you, you look for these dots. That's another way to make sure that they're authentic. Both of those things though need to be um, valid for the, for the shoes to be authentic. Um, don't just go by the dots. Um, definitely, if they're see-through, they are authentic. But look for both things, the dots and the fact that the bottoms are translucent and that you can see through them. Mine here came with an original receipt. But, uh, you know, it's an $800 shoe. You want to make sure that it's authentic. Um, and you don't want to give your money to somebody who's trying to rip you off. So... Um, yeah, those are my two tips on how to authenticate um, Gucci shoes and Chanel Espadrill. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, write them below. I hope you'll follow my Instagram at the big find. And if there's anything else you guys want um, uh, videos on or tips, um, just shoot me a message. Um, and please subscribe and like this video. And um, if you can follow my Instagram, it's at the Big Bang. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.